Having created the data resource, we can jump back into the logic canvas for our scan button. Let's add another flow function that's going to use the data resource and fetch some data for us. For this, we'll use the getRecord flow function. As arguments, it takes the data resource and then, because we specified the URL placeholder for the method, also the barcode. To pass the barcode data, we should again bind it to the output of the scanner node. The getRecord flow function should be able to now fetch us the data for any barcode we scan. However, to display the data, we want to have a place to temporarily store it. For this, we should use a data variable. Data variables are special type of variables that are connected to a data resource which comes with some definite benefits. Let's go into the variables tab and let's create a new data variable from the food facts resource. We can call this data variable food fact. The variable type will set single record as the data we are getting from the API is representing a single product. Data variables also come with default logic you should be aware of. Let's open up the logic canvas for the data variable from the bottom bar. Here we can see that the default logic that would fetch new data every five seconds from the data resource. This default logic is really useful when working with certain types of data sources. But in our case, we want to fetch data only after having scanned a barcode, so we should delete the default logic for now. The default logic for any data variable can be easily restored from the right panel. With that, our data variable setup is ready, so once again, let's go back into the button logic canvas and add the final piece to our logic flow, which is the set data variable flow function. This function takes two arguments, the data variable and the value it is going to be assigned to. In our logic flow, we should use the output of the get record flow function for the assigned value. So all in all, our logic flow now works like this. The button is tapped, the scanner node activates, the camera and the user scans barcode. The get record node uses the barcode data to make a request with the data resource to the Open Food Facts API. The data returned from the API is stored in the data variable.